So I picked up a new iPhone 10 in space gray, and I have to say, I'm really digging this phone. Been using it now for about 48 hours or so, and I wanna tell you guys five things that I really love about the new iPhone 10. So let's go ahead and start off with the overall feel. And I know this is gonna sound very cliche, but this phone feels really great in the hand. Now, my hand is gonna be different than yours, but for me, this is like the perfect size, the perfect weight, and overall, compared to pretty much any phone out there available today, I gotta say, Apple, this was a really good job because I can definitely use this phone with one hand. This is a phone that kind of sits in between the iPhone 8 Plus and also the iPhone 8. So overall, really digging the size of this. Number two, the optics, the cameras are fantastic. And typical, you know, iPhone, they're very good in general, but something about the new you know, F2.4, the bokeh is just really nice on that secondary camera. I took this to Disneyland, took a lot of videos, took a lot of pictures, and even compared it to the Google Pixel 2 XL. And I gotta say, this is gonna be one of the best camera comparisons because both the Google Pixel 2 XL and the iPhone 10, personally for me, are probably amongst the best cameras that you can buy today. So make sure you turn on notifications and if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so so you don't miss out on that video. The third thing I really like about the iPhone 10 is the display. Now, I'm kind of shocked because Apple tends to play it safe, especially with new technology. Edge-to-edge -edge displays are things that we're barely seeing on Android phones. So the fact that Apple kind of jumped on the bandwagon on that, I'm really digging it. I'm a huge fan of edge-to-edge -edge displays. Now, a lot of people are gonna probably say about that notch. Personally, for me, it's not a big deal. I use the Essential phone, which was also not a big deal. So really digging the new edge-to-edge -edge display and the new OLED panel that they're using. I'm a big fan of just iPhone displays in general. They're very accurate. The color saturation is perfect. So with that new OLED display, the blacks are just very deep and overall, loving, loving the display. Now, number four, and I told you, Apple usually tends to take a long time to adopt new technology. So I really love the fact that they now support wireless charging on all of their new iPhones. I know that's kind of cheesy, but for me, when I carry an Android phone and an iPhone, I usually carry both of these phones. I have to carry a lightning cable and a USB type C. So the fact that now I can just pretty much have one system and it works for both phones, but I'm kind of upset because my Google Pixel 2 XL does not support wireless charging. So now I'm mad at Google that their new Pixels do not support wireless charging. So there's a lot of other great Android phones that do so, but kudos to Apple for finally giving us wireless charging. Now, before I tell you the last thing that I love about the new iPhone 10, let me tell you something that I don't like about it, and that's how fragile it is. If you drop this phone, you're pretty much screwed. It's going to break because it's made out of glass. This is something that you're definitely gonna wanna put a case because if you don't have Apple Care, it's gonna cost you over $500 to fix. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. So, good thing is that today's video sponsor is Ghost Tech. So if you haven't heard of Ghost Tech, they make some really great cases and their new iPhone 10 lineup is awesome. Basically, they have a case for any type of situation. So for example, this is the Atomic Slim. It's actually one of my favorite ones because it has a transparent back. So you get to admire the iPhone 10's design. And then you have this outer aluminum frame. This one's in red and I think that contrast looks really great. And even the front is protected because the, the edges are actually raised. So even if you drop your phone face down, it's not gonna hit the display. Now, if you want something a little bit more sleek, there's the Cover 2, which I really like because that's more of a bumper style, still offers that transparent back. Now, if you want something a little bit more boss, a little bit more professional, they have their exec style, which looks really, really nice and also has sort of like a wallet style on the back so you can put your credit card, you can put your Costco card, you can put some cash, or you can go with something a little bit more heavy duty that's pretty much gonna cover your whole entire phone, the display, everything, it's not even gonna let water go inside. It's actually waterproof, shockproof. I'll leave links down below to their whole entire lineup in the description if you guys are interested in picking one up for yourself. And finally, the last thing I love about the new iPhone 10 is the fact that you can get a 256 gigabyte model, which is actually cool because, you know, that's a lot of storage. And I personally love internal storage as opposed to getting an SD card and, you know, kind of shoehorning that in. So awesome that you can get so much storage on a phone. Hopefully more phones and, you know, eventually we'll one day have 512 and so on and so forth. Kind of crazy, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And like I said, I will be doing a video comparison between this phone, the iPhone 10, and the Google Pixel 2 XL. You don't want to miss out on that. Also, stay tuned for a full review coming soon. If you guys want to see behind the scenes, follow me at MondoBytes pretty much everywhere. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google+. Thanks again for watching, and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.